Hi, one of my subscribers asked me how to put objects on a path and I'm going to use this clock vector graphic that I created in one of my tutorials. You can find the tutorial in my channel and also many other tutorials on how to create various vector graphics. You can also watch the beginner's guide where I explain all the tools, menus and you can learn the basics there. Now I'm going to use this graphic because it's more complex if I ungroup it you'll see that we have different objects here. We have text, we have a path, we have ellipse and all kinds of objects. Now I'm going to select this and group it one more time. And uh, I'm going to create a path. Hold down the control key to create a circle. Get the fill and stroke tool. And uh, I'm going to remove the fill and leave the stroke. Now, next thing I need to do is go to path, object to path, and now we have a path here. Now I'm going to make this smaller, holding down the control key, something like this. Now, in order for this to work, you need to make sure that the graphic is grouped and also on top of the selection. Now that I created this circle, uh, this circle is now on top of the selection, so I need to select my object and click this option. Next thing, holding down the shift key, I'm going to select this path. I'm going to move this over here. Go to extensions, generate from path and select this scatter option. Now I'm going to turn on the preview here. and you see what this created. Now to make sure that we don't get this effect when we are creating, when we are putting objects on circular path, we need to select this option here. And you see now how our objects are on the path. Also here you can control the space between the copies some offset you can select the original to be moved along the path or copied or cloned if i select this for example you see that the original will stay here and the copies will appear over here and the next thing you need to do is just click apply to apply the effect but i'm going to close this i'm going to delete this path and show you how you can put it on a different path Grab the Bezier tool, click, click here, click the Enter key, grab this tool, select these nodes, and again now I need to select this and make sure it's on the top, shift select this one, go again to extensions, generate from path scatter, and this time let's select again moved and here change the space between copies and i'm going to just click apply and you see how we managed to put this vector graphic along this path so that's it for this tutorial if you like the video, subscribe, also leave a comment. And if you have any questions or you need help, always feel free to ask me. That's it for now. Bye.